Let me guess, you're broke and you're desperate in cash in Roblox's emergency response Liberty County. You probably want to spend it on something absolutely useful and that uh, you'll cherish it every moment you play this game. Like the Metro Transit button. Well today, I'm going to be showing you the best money making method in Roblox's emergency response Liberty County as of the 2024 Summer Update Part 1. So before we start this money making method, the first thing you want to do is try to find trying to find a very small server. And once you found the smallest one possible, you just want to come over here and check if there that there is no police on to interfere with your grind or any people that also might interfere with your grind. I know having some people, they will they'll most likely leave you alone, but if you know that that you know they're toxic and you know they'll just shoot you on site then I just suggest just finding a different server. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is go to your cell phone and make sure you have a mafia so you can rob the bank. And when you're done making a mafia, you want to head straight to the gun store and buy any gun of choice. Next, you want to go to the tool store and buy these items. The RFID disruptor, the lock pick, and the glass cutter. You can also buy a cr uh, crowbar, but that's only if you find a, a vehicle that you can rob, but it's not necessarily in the cycle I will be dis discussing next. So the first part of the money making cycle is going to the bank and robbing it. Hey, future me here. I'm just here to let you know that there's going to be other people in your server that are also going to be following a money making method and they're most likely already robbing the bank. And if they're already robbing the bank, just skip to the next step. So obviously we come in like normal on the code. And once you're downstairs and you've blown up the vault, what you want to do is to take anything that's in the center. Because anything, anything you take in the center is going to provide enough money, but also give you enough time so you don't die from the gas. And as you can see, I took everything that was in the center and I'm left with this amount of HP. And now let's move on to the next part of the cycle, which is robbing these cash registers at the gun store. And after robbing the cash registers at the gun store, you want to head straight for the housing suburbs. And what you want to do next is to rob a house. As you can see, I successfully lockpicked the door, and now I can take all the cash that's on the ground. And if there isn't cash, there will be a safe like this one, which is significantly harder than just using cash, than finding cash. And me personally, I suggest doing easy. Well, as you can see, I kind of failed breaking into the safe. But if you do uh, successfully break into the safe, then well, you get to keep the money, of course. And then after robbing the house, you want to go towards the county gas station. Once you're at this county gas station, you, you want to head over to this ATM and rob it with your RFID disruptor. And then when you're done robbing the ATM, you want to head back to the tool store and purchase any of the equipment that you've already used, such as the lockpick and the RFID disruptor. And the next thing you want to do is head to the back of the tool store. So you're, so you're right behind the jewelry store. And once you're at the jewelry store, you can rob it however much times as you want, as there's no one stopping you, like the police. And there you have it. That is the whole entire cycle. So here's the here's the money before the cycle and after the cycle. What you want to do is just keep repeating this cycle until you're left with the amount of money you're satisfied with. Well, there you have it, folks. 
Nothing much to learn, but still effective. And one thing I hadn't included in the cycle is vehicle robberies. However, you, you still can't steal vehicles, but when you sell them, obviously you're going to have to take the walk of shame back to Springfield spawn. And that is exactly why I don't recommend it during this cycle. Well guys, that's it for today's video. And if you want to see more ERLC content, then subscribe and comment down some suggestions. Anyways, I'll see you later.